I'm so excited to be here uh, to share our story with you guys, uh, especially in New York because New York is our hometown. ZocDoc is a New York-based startup. For those of you who don't know ZocDoc, six million patients visit us every month to book doctor appointments. Our goal is to remove friction that we all experience in healthcare as patients uh, using the power of technology. We started out by focusing on the first step in a health, patient's healthcare journey, booking of doctor appointments. It takes a very long time to get in to see the doctor, 24 days US average. At the same time, 30% of that supply, the availability goes to waste because of rescheduling, last minute bookings. Doctors are underutilized. Patients can't get in to see the doctors. Patients, as a result, wait and they get sicker or they just ignore their health condition and they get to ER as a result, which drives up the healthcare cost for all. Let me give you an analogy. The same way uh, these companies like Kayak transformed uh, their respective industries and built a marketplace to take advantage of the efficiencies, ZocDoc is, the doing, ZocDoc is doing the same for healthcare. Does it work? Absolutely. A typical ZocDoc user is able to go in and see a doctor in 24 hours versus 24 days. We started out by focusing on private practices and our technology was optimized for that use case. But as we gained, cri gained critical mass, we turned our attention to larger health systems. This business transformation required bigger scale and bigger expectations, which are uh, tech stack back in the day just could not handle. Hence, ZocDoc 2.0, our new technical strategy to solve the business transformation needs as well as innovate faster. These were some of the pillars for ZocDoc 2.0. I'll touch on some of them as we go through the presentation. Fast forward 12 months, and I'm happy to report that we're 100% in AWS. I'm especially proud of our team because 12 months ago, we had no prior background or expertise on AWS or the cloud. We chose choosing the right partner was critical for us. We chose AWS primarily based on our shared principles, customer obsession and rapid innovation. Along the way, aside from migrating to the cloud, we had to ramp up on concepts like infrastructure as code, DevOps, while also figuring out things like compliance and security in the cloud. We went way beyond the infrastructure as service. We believe, in, we believe that the real power of the cloud is in platform as a service. It allows us to pick a building block and uh, add it to our architecture, a building block that innovates itself, runs for us, manages for us, as well as scales independently. We had a .NET monolith, so a lift and shift just wouldn't cut it. We had to re-architect. We built a container-based microservices model and uh, standardized on three tech stacks, Scala, Node.js, and c -sharp, all running on Linux. Yes, I said c -sharp running on Linux. We uh, probably need a cowboy emoji on this uh, slide. We also had a bunch of undifferentiated heavy lifting because when we started 10 years ago, a bunch of these cloud-based software as a startup services just didn't exist back in the day. They seem like a no-brainer these days. But we had to eliminate a bunch of the uh, services that we, ha we built ourselves. ZocDoc didn't need to be an expert at monitoring mon uh, building monitoring systems or A-B testing systems. We wanted to focus on solving patient and provider problems. And in addition to uh, increasing the scale and sophistication of our security controls, we're in the process of getting to the highest level of security certification that's possible to get in healthcare. A great win for us and our patients and providers. We knew we had to build a robust platform to get to our data liberation goals that we set out for ourselves. Our data was stuck in thousands of relational tables. For those of you who are uh, data scientists or data engineers out there, this, this pyramid should seem familiar. It basically says, in order to get to these advanced level of analytics, you have to first have the right data at hand. And over the past 12 months, we've been able to go from pretty much the base level to the top. 
And what was most exciting to me was that our data scientists were able to build a bunch of the infrastructure necessary to be able to do this all by themselves using infrastructure as code. We built many data lakes, ETL pipelines. Our data uh, grew exponentially. So what do we do with all this data? We have a number of ML use cases in flight, but I want to touch on one we have running in production today, which is what we call patient-powered search. The healthcare patient experience revolves around clinical, clinical terminology that's basically built for providers. It's hard for patients to understand. Let's say I have blurry eyes. I need to know that an eye doctor is an ophthalmologist. It's hard to say. It's even harder to spell. And forget it if you're an ESL speaker like me. So what do we do? We built a search experience that uses three machine learning models. One is a semantic model that continuously learns, that maps intent to a given specialist. Second one is a multi-arm bandit-based model that populates, that bubbles up top user choices. Third one is a relevancy model that basically tries to find the most relevant doctor to a given patient, given the context. The result is a much improved search experience. And as we say it, you don't need to be a doctor to find a doctor anymore. Deep learning used to be hard. Not anymore. Our team was building a new computer vision-based patient interaction. And their initial model was non-AI based. And so they quickly realized that they needed deep, machine, deep learning. And they were able to set up a GPU-based P2 instance with a deep learning AMI, which means they had all of the hardware and software that they needed and started training our neural network in just one day. I don't want to even imagine thinking about the complexity of the software as well as the hardware, especially in a data center environment. So what do we get as a result of all this work? We move much faster. Our engineering team is going to deliver three times more in 2017 compared to 2016. And AWS played a critical role in allowing us to shift some of the engineering capacity from infrastructure to product engineering, while allowing our individual product engineers innovate faster and independently. We have a product manager, Anthony Lusby. He sets a high standard. The other day he approached me and he said, Serkan, I've been at ZocDoc for seven years, and I feel like we're now moving at the speed of a tiny startup that I joined working for seven years ago. That's music to a CTO's ears. As I said earlier, we started out by, uh, by focusing on appointment booking, but it's the tip of the iceberg. As patients ourselves, we can all agree that there are many more problems in healthcare that we can solve using the power of technology. At ZocDoc, we imagine a world where you don't need to have a PhD to understand your insurance coverage. Or finding a doctor and seeing a doctor doesn't even take 24 hours, it's almost instantaneous. Or your prescriptions are just taken care of for you and they just show up at your door magically. And most importantly, you have one place to deal with all the complexities of healthcare. Thanks to AWS, we're now better positioned than ever on making that future a reality. And of course, we're hiring. Our doors are wide open to people who want to help us build that great healthcare experience that we all deserve. Thank you for listening.